Welcome back. Another episode of Watching Baseball. We are moving on up to 1975 World Series. Talking Jake here. I'm John Boy. Third one we've done. We saw some comments come in from last episode, and I just want to let everyone know right away, I know nothing about 1970s baseball players. Yeah. Especially non-Yankees. I was born in 1989. I didn't stop watching watching I didn't start watching baseball religiously until like 2000 like every every game of a season until I was like freshman in high school cuz I moved so much and I'm not going to try and hide that fact or do quick research. Jake's our researcher. He has some knowledge. Too long. We don't know shit. We're not old. We don't <laughs> follow your team. I research a couple facts beforehand so we don't sound like total idiots. We're watching this game. I am going to learn who was on the Red Sox, who was on the Reds in 1975. If you asked me, I would have a couple guesses. I have no idea. So we're all watching this for the first time together, majority. If you're a diehard Cincinnati fan or Red Sox fan and you remember this team, prepare to get annoyed that we don't know. Oh, it's game seven. This is a cool find. It's game seven. So this is the 1975 World Series. This is the third or fourth straight World Series game seven. The Red Sox versus the Reds. Big Red Machine is trying to get started. Ike and Eddie are Mm. popping up. And, uh, yeah, we've got some good names in this series. On the Red Sox, you're going to see Freddie Lynn, Dwight Evans, Yastrzemski, Rico Petroselli. Um, Rico Petroselli That's a hell of a name Carlton Fisk uh, Bernie him. Carbo The B- Spaceman Bill Lee And for the Reds I mean Sparky Anderson Joe Morgan P. Rose I mean we've seen these guys Tony Perez He has a big series But uh, yeah The game before this Is the Carlton Fisk game He's taking jump shots Before the game And then uh, Yeah Game 7 do or die And uh it's either the, the start of the dynasty or the end of a cur- Were they calling it a curse in 75? I don't know when that started. Like, I kind of don't think so. I don't think so either. All right. Um, I don't know. That could be wrong. Um, crazy. I didn't know any of this. Game seven tied going into the eighth inning, which is where we're going to pick it up. Yeah. And that, I mean, that We're going to watch some pressure pack, baby. Yeah, the stage is, uh, here is incredibly high. And so, I'll, uh, last piece of setup. Um, Red Sox were up 3 nothing this game In the 6th inning They got 2 outs Spaceman Billy gave up a 2 run homer To Tony Perez with 2 outs And that's gotta haunt them Cause they were up 3-0 and then it was 2-3 Pete Rose ties it And bam So who do we got in? Big 3-8 Woo Do you like his stuff so far? So Perez is up again. Perez is back up. He homered in his last at bat. Biggest at bat of his life. A and this is the next one. Now he wants to be the true hero. Hit another one. Big swing. See, big right. swing. Yeah. Because he's feeling hot, man. He's confident as hell. I think we got Jim Willoughby on the bump. Your guy. A lot of Jims. The big Jim Willoughby guy. Willoughby. See, I think he just ran across the mound. Jim Willoughby had no issue with it. Willoughby, will he be? Will he be a Willoughby? Some sideburn action here from George Foster. George Foster. Eight for 28 in the World Series. Oh, Another shit. Heck of a ball player in his day. I think What's he's, that? I don't. You got to do math back in the day? I'm so dumb. He's playing. He's playing center field, I believe. Oh, first pitch swinging. Eight, right, for, 28, eight for 28 is a 285 average. George Foster in left. Caesar Geronimo in center, and you know who's in right, Jim? Griffey. Griffey Senior. Griffey Senior. No, it is. I don't think guys walked back in the day. Oh, Will that was nice. Got some funk. That was nice. I the like that. leg kick to the release. That's some funk. He's throwing a lot at you. You see two limbs come your way before the ball. <laughs> That's tough. Nice play by the shortstop. There. He didn't have to hurry as much as everyone. Yeah, announcer played it up. Rick Burleson at short. What a guy. Trot Nixon? Well, look at this replay. They had a transition to replay now. But again, like, this camera stuff doesn't look better. 
No, but this is only one year. Right. Come around it. Yep. Some great analysis. Concepcion, our old buddy, he's really yeah. choked up. He's moved up the lineup. Oh, uh, give him the call, Blue. I think when we first saw him in 72, he was the eight-hole hitter, and now he's up to five, I believe. Hell, he's he's a little dude. Shortstop, right? Concepcion, he's a shortstop. Willoughby's throwing junk. Dude, he's coming in on him. Out. Was that three ground outs in a row? Yeah. Nice. Nice little flip. Just a nice tied World Series flip. Done with you. All these Red Sox fans think they're about to win the World Series. That was top eight. They might. Boston made two errors. They might. Kevin White. Sure. I get very sad when I watch like that shit. Like he's that, dead. Like no, not about dead. Just oh. like, does he have a legacy? Probably in Boston. Kevin White, Dwight Evans. He's nope. got a legacy. Yeah, I know that name. Are you mad they're not giving you percentages? Yeah, it's a lot of yeah. math. It's dumb. I think this this angle, they use this a lot because you're right. This is the best angle. Dude, that's why um, a lot of older fans enjoy this angle. I kind of like this angle. Well, th- this isn't how... Even nowadays. But nowadays you don't see it like this because it's way wider. That's a ter- that's the that's other a angle. That's angle. I think Fenway was hard to work yeah, with. Yeah, that's true. That's a really bad angle. You don't even see the pitcher? We have Clay Carroll in. Yeah, it looks like Carroll's trying to go two innings here. Okay, this is a normal angle. Yeah. This is a baseball angle. Oh. Ooh. And they're back to the protector. I think so, we had a tough so, guy on no, 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 no. So that's the difference of the league. Someone commented that. And I did know that because it used to be like you would get the high strike and one and the low strike because... Whether it was a National League ump or an American League ump, they used crazy. different the things. Gonna agree. And then they used to say that changed the strike zone. Look at Fenway. Not a bad seed in the house except the bad ones. A lot of bad ones, man. I mean, the whole outfield. That's the joke. That was the joke. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm adding to it with literalism. Yeah, but then people are going to be like, oh, you're a Red Sox hated John Boy. Fenway's awesome. Besides the go. seats that you have to sit like this. Right. The feel of a game at Fenway. Even Yankees fans, I think, will admit that. Otherwise, they're just being obnoxious. Yeah. I was just saving you. Full count. Ooh. Went up and in. Ooh. Good old, Got rid ooh. of the bat. Loved that was it. A, that was like I mean, a confident he's a, high school run to first. See, this is, we're forgetting how pressure filled this, this is. This is huge. Like a base runner in the bottom of the eighth. You score you here. You bring in your closer. Yeah. You can win it. Like that is, it is huge. It's a big walk. If if you're a fan, like and you're like watching it at home, like you just like, ah, yeah. you just got so excited. So many, ooh, that was Dwight I mean, Evans was right down the. Walk. Who's who's batting right now? He just faked the bunt. This is Rick Burleson. Rick Burleson, the shortstop, who came around the ball the last inning. That pitch was right down the middle, and he got upset about it. He's so upset he won't get back in the box. Yeah. He looks like a pencil, dude. He looks tiny. Shortstop. Yeah. All right, Rick. Clay Carroll's yeah, on the hero. mound. Clay Carroll. Didn't he blow it in the game we watched from 72? I think he might have. Can't get the bunt down. Two strikes. It's very important to get this runner to second. He's the leadoff guy, right? What do you mean? Burleson? No, he's the last hitter. But this inning. There's nope. a runner on first. He let off. So it's very important to get that the run runner to on second. first is the lead. Lead off guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No outs. So, I mean, yeah, dude. Lead off walk leads to bad things, usually. That's how, um, yeah. So, you got. Oh, oh, where was that? That's a missed strike. Well, he, he would, he'd shoot him out over the strike down yeah. the middle. Paid off. Would have been big to get that bunt down and get this runner to second. Yes. No, doesn't. That's no good. high strike yet. No high strike yet. Ooh, that's good. Johnny Carson show. That's that's some wild and crazy stuff. Two and two. I think you. I think he's got to put this ball not a strike, but it's such a pressure. Dirt in it. Yeah, that's dirt risky. it. Do they turn this? You think, oh you think my Pete, 
God. You think Pete Rose and Joe Morgan don't turn it in the World Series? Holy smokes, dude. Boston fans just had crazy emotions. Rick Burleson. Lead off walk to double play. Baseball saw it is the biggest fleeting emotions of sports. Cecil Cooper having a bad World Series. One for eighteen. I don't need to do the math there. Just bad. It's bad. And I heard a rumor that the the one hit he did get uh, was uh, he's. You don't know. There is no rumor. He's pinch hitting for the pitcher, Jim Willoughby. Good. And so, he's probably expecting to come up with a runner in scoring position. <laughs> yeah. He can have a play on it. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> Concepcion. Hey, dude. I love flipping it to the ump. Whoopsie did you see did. that? Yeah, we need to bring back flipping it they to the ump. They need to bring. That's the second time we've seen that. <laughs> that's a pretty good freeze frame. The, Jesus, Concepcion, chill. Dude, he's, he was close to Pete there. He's doing a lot. And here's the trophy. This is the NBC Television Network. Okay. So this is the top of the ninth in a tied World Series, people, and we're still showing the trophy, okay? Does the trophy still have the hole in it? No. What am I looking at here? Is there a baseball at the bottom? I don't know. I don't know. How is this still the shot? Here we go. Okay. So, all right. We've got Ken Griffey Sr. coming up. Jim Burton. I know Jim that name. Jim Burton having a nice year. 289 ERA. And I think what's important here is that you're at the bottom of the Reds lineup, and if anyone gets on... It's Pete Rose, Joe Morgan, Johnny Bench, Tony Perez. Jesus. So. Dude, look how skinny Griffey Sr. is. Griffey, Geronimo, and Dan Dreesen. Who, he might be a pinch hitter, but. Seven for those 26. Those are the three that are coming up. What's that, like a two, 250? Sure. I have, why couldn't they do the Left math? down, left. Like, why are they presenting it that way? Seven for twenty six is two sixty nine. Not bad. Yes, not bad. How old's Griffey here? Your son's gonna be great. What? How, how old is he here? Uh, Ken Griffey Senior. Gonna really lose my place to find out his age in the World Series. Um, at seventy five, if that helps, I'm and he's got a three. Thirty. Um, no, he's young. Twenty five. Yeah, I thought he looked young. He's got a 3-0 count here, and, I mean, it is going to be the biggest don't swing. Yeah, yeah. dropped the bat before the pitch came in from yeah. the camera angle yeah. that didn't I mean, show the pitch. That camera angle is brutal, and, and the third base coach right there was just like, it's not even the don't yeah. swing, it's like the don't fucking Let's see if swing. he can Little League style throw it in the zone. I mean, is he not a stud yet? Is he getting the take here as well? Nope. 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 Big old swing. Nice swing. Not as nice as your son's, dude. Yeah. I mean, Tough. he he can take full credit for his son's swing. Sure. He's probably more but proud of that. His swing is not as nice as his son's. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't trying to attack pride. It seemed like you were coming no, at him. Oh, it definitely a... would. Okay. Seem that way. It definitely would seem that way, yeah. Jim Burton. Why do I know that name? Burton, here's a who. This camera angle blows. Good walk. Is that Terrible another pitch. leadoff walk? So that was a leadoff walk. It's top nine of the World Series, a reliever that just came in the game. So that's tough. But we had a leadoff walk last inning, too. You're probably thinking he's pretty shook, though. Uh, emotions on the fans, I can't. My heart would be. My heart's almost killing me thinking about how yeah. much my heart would be killing me if this was the uh, like Yankees game. Get your heart off my heart. Cesar Geronimo not having a great World Series. Is that 260. Oh look, they so put they true. put the the yeah. orange bar between the split screen. We didn't have that in '74. That way, you know it's split. Oh, he showed bunt on the throw over to first. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's come brutal. on. Well, maybe he's faking the third baseman in. That's what World I'm Series. Caesar Geronimo. Geronimo. Griffey leads off first. He squares the bunt. Gets it down. Nice bunt. Oh, my oh. God. Okay. Jeez. Man, From dude. the seat of his pants. It's funny watching this uh, now because, like, wow. 
I mean, your heart's in your throat when you see him go to his ass right. when you watch this live time. And not for nothing, I'll give the old timers a little bit of love. I think every bunt we've seen get down has been beautiful. Oh, yeah. They did it a lot. Yeah. They don't do it at all anymore. So, yeah, we're getting the pinch hitter. We're getting Dan Oh, Teresen. look at this. They're flashing his name. Wow. <laughs> That's good graphics. Available pinch hitters. And they're using a lefty versus the lefty. Five-man bench. It so is the World Series. Sh shots fired against Doug Flynn and Bill Plummer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're assuming one of those is the catcher, but. Dude, really good job by Bill Plummer to escape the uh, nominative determinism, which is when you, right. you, become, you become what your name career. is. Because your name, Bill Plummer. Yeah. Like, the odds you become a plumber. Jake Plummer. Who's that? Quarterback. Jake the Snake Plumber. One of the more famous Jakes. I'm out. William Francis Plummer. From Oakland. Dude, look at another inverted stance. Yeah, it's been a while, though. We've watched a game and a half and haven't seen any, like, creepy inverted stances. That's Oh, and he opens up big, too. Okay. I mean, go-ahead run is now on third base. Go-ahead run is on third base, but we've two got outs. two outs. Pete Rose is up. Bill Plummer was a 10-year backup. It's a dream. Most games he ever played was 65 when he was 28 years old. It's a dream. And his stats are brutal. Defensive catcher. 53 man. OPS plus on his career. Yeah. Good clubhouse guy, though. Yeah. Dude, the most games he ever started in a, in his career was 45. Lifetime backup. I mean, he backed up bench, right? Good guy to back up. Yeah. Good guy in the clubhouse. You're missing some fun here. We had the third baseman come over. They're all giving. They're giving the bullpen time, right? He was asking, uh, no. Um, the third baseman came in. They talked about strategy against Pete Rose because they thought he might bunt because he's a fucker. <laughs> look at dude. Look at his hair. Pete Rose. Oh yeah, head of lettuce guy, man. Head of lettuce. Life. Not good lettuce. Not good lettuce. It's a head of lettuce though. It's bad. It doesn't take away from it. It's bad. It's got hair like the dude in uh So you're a Red Sox fan. Yeah, yeah. Pete Rose is up. Two outs in the World Series. Walk him. Well who's you up behind him? You have a lefty, Joe Morgan is on deck. Oh, he wanted that. Wouldn't you just walk Pete Rose to put uh, you know, an easier out? There's an out at second now and that, but it all depends on matchups. But you got lefty righty. Spits on it. I think they're that pitching. Nice pitch. I think they're pitching very carefully to Rose here. Who's up next? Joe Morgan. A lot of pressure on that young kid. How old is he? The pitcher is. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice Ooh, pitch. That was a nice pitch. Uh, Jim Burton. You see, Pete Rose just nodded his head like, "Okay, yeah, I, I see you." Throw one in there, kid. Jim Burton was twenty-five. Okay. Jeez, Jim Burton looking like he might be a sad story. So I don't know that name? I mean, if you do. I like that. How about some good commentary? Yeah, this, this has been a steady diet of breaking. There's good, good color commentary there. This is Jim Burton's career. Four games started, nine appearances. Nice pitch. 29. All that year, and then he only appeared once after that. How does he have the ball in this spot? I mean, I'm assuming he gets hurt after this, but or he just blows his brain out. I'm so confused how he has the ball right now in Game 7 of the World Series with the go-ahead run on third base. Had a good year. Full count to Rose. Oh! oh just doesn't, dude, doesn't snap it. That was a yips pitch. 
His name is Jim Burton. Jim. Jim just looked up Steve Burton. I need to know, how do you go from this to never pit being in the majors again? Right. Pitching There's got to be a story there. He only had one MLB appearance after this game. He's pitching in a do-or-die World Series game. Life comes at you fast, people. Done say? Um. Yeah, he just, it's just, it's nothing, man. He died at 64 years old of age. Joe Morgan up, by the way. Yeah, I know. For those at home. They just expected a lot of lefties, but he walked guys, so then he got to the righties, but then they... Big swing by Joe Morgan. He clearly pitched around Rose to get to Morgan just because of lefty right. Like he was very outside breaking ball, ball outside breaking ball, ball outside yeah. breaking ball. Fisk is huge next to Morgan. Oh my God. Yeah, that's wild, huh? Holy smokes. That's like Judge Altuve stuff. Yeah. Can I go back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that- I mean he's up to his elbow. That's bizarre. And 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 Fisk isn't even fully standing. How tall was Joe Morgan? I mean, Joe Morgan's got to be what? Listed at listed at 5'10"? I'll do Carlton Fisk. Joe Morgan. Okay. Wow. So, and this will show people. We're baseball fanatics. We clearly know Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan listed at 5'7". Holy smoke. Yeah, we lost didn't. that bet. Hall of Famer. 100 career war. How about Joe Morgan? Dude, I didn't know he was that short. Yeah, I knew he was a really good ball player and just a bad broadcaster. I didn't know he was a snuggle bunny. Because Fisk is only listed at 6'3". 5'7", 6'3", damn. Good for you, Joe Morgan. All right, I like you more now. Yeah, huge. As short guys, we have to. Skinny, too. Yeah, Slapper. A little pipsqueak. So what, we got two strikes, right? Five seven, dude. That's crazy. Hit twenty seven homers in one season. That's pretty good. I think we got two strikes. Crowd's getting loud. Looks like they're going outside fastball. Ooh, that curve. Ooh. It's a strike. That guy's allowed back? Wow, that dude is kicked <laughs> out. I wonder if he was like, they won't kick me out right now, right? No. Ninth I wonder if of game seven of the World Series. Dude, one you ball, risk two that. strikes. You got to throw junk. Well, he just tried to throw a low. That was a, that was a bad curve, but he fouled it back. Got to junk it. Fisk is doing a lot. Of, he's trying to do a lot of mental, like, communication. Okay. He's doing a lot of hand, hand. Oh, look at that elbow twitch. Yeah. Keep it in. Fastball. Morgan in his Dunk. center. That's oh, tough. Oh, man. <laughs> Rose. Pete Rose. Is that the iconic Pete Rose? Is that where the picture stems from? It very well might. It looked like. Maybe- I mean, I guess Pete's got a lot of those. If you do Pete Rose slide, yeah, I mean, it might just be how Pete Rose. No, it's no, it's not it because the the Pete Rose one isn't. Looks like the Pete Rose one is at Wrigley. Yeah, it's just how he slid into third. That's just how home he slid. Damn, that's tough, man. I mean, that's a base hit, but it's not like. But it's the walks that doomed him. Yeah, but like you said, he didn't want to pitch to Pete Rose. The leadoff walk to Griffey. The leadoff walk to Griffey. But and that's what you think- get. That's what you get for bringing a twenty-five-year-old in his rookie year. Into Game Seven of the World Series, playing matchups, brah. Lefties, oh dude, oh, I love yes. They, they, like they did the the walk out with the jacket on and be on base with the jacket on through the nineties. 
That needs to come back. I feel like it's completely gone now. That needs to come back. That's nice. Cleveland throwing some some junk. A little bit of a belly, just Look enough to be this. social. This this tail end of his career, right? Like he's a vet. He's a <laughs> what wily. What do you mean? He's got to be a wily vet. You don't think he looks like a young sex symbol here? Um, I, I like what he's doing. Reggie Cleveland in '75 was 27 years old. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yes. And yeah, reminder. So now it's four three Reds in a game the Red Sox were leading three nothing after five point two. And they had a leadoff walk in the bottom of the eighth. Couldn't get the bunch down, bunt down, double play. And you got second and third here with Johnny Bench up. Dude, I, that's such the old school windup is crazy. Yeah, it throws you off a little bit. Cause it looks like right like that to me looks like a kid fucking around playing wiffle ball. Right. And that's how the elite of the elite were winding up. So much movement. Well, I wonder what was the thought process there. Was just momentum, maybe? I think so. Look at this. Look at this dude. Oh, dog out the window taking yeah, a shit. Yeah, I saw that. Got a collar on now. Good. He was just roaming before. Slide piece. Oh, Ump does think about giving the strike. Oh, yes. Twisted steel and sex appeal. Tony Perez on deck. Bat Boy really tight in there. Yeah, he's hanging out. What a life. Woo-hoo. Big old swing from Johnny. Johnny Bench. You can take the same holy, swing again, right? Holy tits. I mean, if you get that 3-0, you're going to get it 3-1. Oh, my God. How much was Pete Rose thinking about stealing home? Not on this. Not on a 3 over 3-1 pitch. Ooh. Oh. Johnny trying to walk there. 3-2. Johnny Bench, runners on second and third. No, you actually, you what know what? What are you throwing, kid? You're my pitching coach. You, you, can, you can get a little risky here with first base open. You don't need to throw a strike like that was right down the middle, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, he's he's lucky to get that one back. I'd be ballsy because you have first open anyway. You know what I mean? And right. It's, and it's two outs. Right. Tony Perez on deck. He hit a homer earlier. But also still, a Hall of Famer. but still, I I think that you can. I think you can be crazy here and and throw something out of the zone. Because he th- he thinks you he thinks you have to challenge him. But you, I think you, you want to. I think you want to execute in the zone here. I'd throw a breaking ball right out of the zone. I mean, I mean he he had go. he had my idea. I think just didn't execute. Didn't snap it. That's a twenty-seven year old. Didn't snap it. Yeah, a healthy twenty-seven. All right, so now Tony. Perez thinks he's going to be even like you right. Know. He's trying to win World Series MVP right here. This would be his fourth home run, low batting average, but this would be his fourth home run, and his he'd have eleven RBIs if he pokes one here. Oh, Doesn't blue. Like that. Blue is quick on that one. Yo, I'm telling you, umpires used to just make their call quick and with confidence. Yeah, he's young and sexy. Get over it. Perez, he now he's mad at the ump because he thinks the ump made him swing at that pitch. Yeah, this is a yeah. big in between those two pitches is a big like talk to yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right. Single does it, Tony. Don't need to be the the big. And hero. you got to be careful during it too. Pete Rose on third. Now nah, you dirt it here. One ball, two strikes. I like that pitch. If you throw that, now you should come back foot something. But I don't think this guy's got change up. I don't think change up. No. There's this fastball slider, babe. Yeah, as a reliever. But yeah. If he had a back foot changeup, it'd be a good time to throw. Right, 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 right. Okay, great. Glad we, <laughs> glad we okay, agree. Great. Wish catcher said stuff like that. It's a good pitch. Okay. It's a good pitch. Brought it in a little bit. See, my thing is... This has to be in the zone. Now you now. go slider. No, if if he then he's seen that fastball, give him. You the slider. do not want to go three two with bases loaded. Yeah, 
You just got to put two in the zone there and hope he doesn't do it. Freddie. Okay. Okay. Red score. Oh, oh. And there he is. The hero. All right. Who do I saw? Okay. Juan Benaquez, Denny Doyle, and Yaz. Yes. You're trying to get anyone on for Yaz. Denny Doyle's a good name. Denny Doyle is a good good baseball name. Benaquez? So, yeah, McEnany is in for Cody. Corey Carroll? Clay Carroll. Clay Carroll. Cody Carroll and the Yanks. I Come on, do some research, man. Do some Clay research Carroll. once. I think Clay Carroll lost it. Lost the, the game that we watched. A couple uh Clay Carroll. In 72. It was Redemption. Thy name is One Clay. For seven. That's bad. Uh, Jake. Yeah. If you're a Red Sox fan in 1975 right. at home, are you watching through pillows right now? No. Three outs away from losing. I'm not a, not a pillow junkie. Through your fingers? Clench butt? Um, I'm a pacer. Oh, okay. I pace, yeah. Always clench butt. I think it also should be mentioned that Jim Rice was on this Red Sox team, but he was hurt for the World Series. So right now... Is that the horseback riding injury? So right now, um, not sure about the horseback riding injury, to be honest with you. Um, so Beniquez came in... Beniquez. Came in for Bernie Carbo earlier in this game. I think maybe because they thought they had it won. And he was a defensive replacement. Look how skinny oh, that guy is. He barrels it, but it's right at him. Yeah. That's tough. Griffey. Go ahead and run. It was but Griffey, yeah, right? You're, if you're a Red Sox fan, right? When During that at bat, you're saying, oh my God, where's Jim Rice? Oh. Griffey got the go ahead run, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Who's that? Guy's got a two bad and more. That's Bob Montgomery coming in. He debuted in the 60s. Bob Montgomery. Debuted in 1962. Uh, In 70. He's 31 in this. You just got to add five years to everyone. Yeah. The way they look, you got to. You got a minus five years. My brain adds five. I had that 27-year-old this pitcher. This Bob Montgomery decision must be questioned because he wasn't great. What did he do, like, up until this point? In the 1975 season, he hit 226 with a 559 OPS. Is this him? This is Bob Montgomery. What did he do uh, in, like, the World Series? Does he not have a helmet on? He does not have a helmet on. And it's his first at-bat of the World Series? They were reaching for a miracle at this point. You were not allowed to wear a helmet if you didn't want to? Oh, my God. They went King Bob on us. First pitch swinging, and that's obvious. That man just didn't wear a batting helmet in the 1975 World Series. Everyone else has worn them, right? Even in 72, they were wearing them. But they didn't Bob have ear. Montgomery. They didn't have ear flaps, but they were wearing them. It's Bob Montgomery. Was that optional? Yaz is up. Yaz, see, and this is dude. Bob can't swing there. You have to see a couple for Bob Yaz swinging. You have to see a you couple. You know, for, Bob swinging. You just got the pitcher so confident for Yaz. Bob's like, they're going to challenge me right away. The first pitch I see is going to be the best. And it's like, yeah, dude, because you're Bob. Talk about lineups being shaped differently. Yastrzemski, Fisk, and Fred Lynn in the 3-4-5. Who was 1-2? Bernie Carbo and Denny Doyle. Yeah, it's way different. They'd be, they'd be uh, what, like 2-3-4 or 1-2-3 now? Yeah. So that's tough in hindsight. Come on, Yaz. Big swing. That was a good, nice swing. Fly ball to center. Geronimo get Geronimo. <sighs> Tough times in Boston. Ah, celeb- uh, people on the field. What was that about? That mime was trying to steal the catcher's stuff? Do you see that over here? Look at this guy. He's trying to steal everyone's stuff. Look right here. 
Dude. Yeah. Just, like, not fun. This is one of the things where, like, it is so nice yeah. that we don't allow fans on the field anymore. And the, imagine wanting to celebrate winning the World Series, but you have to deal with people are trying to people steal, steal your, your stuff. And running on the field. Man. That's why you go in the locker room to celebrate, I guess. But then the fans don't get to see you celebrate and stuff. Like that right. was a gr- I don't know when that decision was made, but that's a great decision to not let fans yeah. on the field to celebrate. I mean, I don't think they were welcome then either, but they had trouble enforcing it. Best World Series of modern Rose, modern Joe age Morgan. is what they said. Yeah, they uh ESPN did like a rankings in like 2013 and they said this was the second best World Series ever. Oh, nice. I'm happy for Bench. Yeah, Bench is stoked. Catcher number one. A couple good catchers in this series. <laughs> That's tough. Dude, I still can't get over that Bob at bat. That, I want Red Sox fans reach out, because what was that? He had a terrible season. He had a bad career. And it's his first at bat of the World Series, and you're gonna let him come up without a helmet on and rip? Who, who did he pinch hit for? What, what was Denny his name? Doyle? What was his name? Bob what? So that was Bob Montgomery pitch hitting for Denny Doyle. Um, Dude, they for a starter. What's the question? I thought he might have pinched it for a pitcher or something. No, he pitched it for the starting number two hitter. Yeah, Denny Doyle. Danny Doyle hates Bob Montgomery. Oh, yeah. I think they did it because it was a lefty versus righty thing. I don't care, man. But I, still, no, yeah. He, he. Bob Montgomery was, that was praying. That was hoping for a miracle. That was a manager being just fl- like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. think they got the magic switch. Dude, Bob. Who's the person they least expect to win this game? Bob Montgomery's postseason stats. Yeah. One plate appearance, one at bat, one pitch seen. We just Ooh. saw it. I mean, how bad was Denny? Dude, that is unbelievable. I mean, it, did they have talk radio back in the day? Because sports talk radio, th- this day and age. It's an interesting question. I mean, did did the manager get asked about that? He had to. Should have. Denny Doyle, Okay. In 1975. He's having a decent postseason. Danny Doyle started. (laughs) He started and finished every game up until game game seven. Yeah. With a 268 average. And he had a hit in game seven and a run scored. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's brutal. That's criminal. That's a criminal baseball decision. Yeah. Pete Rose, I know he was on the field, and I know he went on to gamble against baseball. No. Who, who was the manager of Red Sox? Lock him up. Yeah. Sorry, Denny Doyle. Denny. That's tough. And all of Denny's relatives watching this. Yeah. Uh, if you're Denny Doyle's grandson. Still be mad. Grandpop got fucked. Bob Montgomery. Damn. God. Just watching baseball. Thanks, guys.